All right, all right, all right. What's going on, folks? What's going on today? Ontarian here, passive income guru on this beautiful Sunday. Hope you guys are doing well. If you can hear me loud and clear, go ahead and give me, uh, throw me some hearts. I'm going to wait for a few people to come on. It's been a while since I did a, um, a, uh, live video in my in my truck been a long time been a long time so i want to talk to you guys real quick real briefly nothing real serious but very important nothing real serious but very pertinent to the times we're living in very pertinent to your situation so if you're tuning in, let me know if you can hear me. Just drop me a comment. Drop me a number seven. Do something. Let me know uh, if I'm coming in loud and clear. All right. Title of this video is How Bad Do You Want It? How Bad Do You Want It? Thank you so much, Mark. Appreciate you, sir. I appreciate you, sir. All right, guys. Again, not going to be long-winded today because I'm on the road. Got to concentrate. But uh, the question of the of the day, the question of the hour is, how bad do you want it? Now, of course, I'm speaking in terms of, my, of entrepreneurship. Now, everybody is not cut out for entrepreneurship. It's just not for everybody. You know, there's there's many things in life that just not for everybody, right? Uh, college is not for everybody. Um, you know, working a job is not for everybody. You know, there's there's people that that have you have that has to be an entrepreneur. They, there's entrepreneurship really makes the make makes this world go round when it comes to transactions, right? And there are some people who you know um they love their job you know there's a there's a whole spectrum of things of people in the world right different needs but um as, as the years go on I'm, I'm really starting to find out that a lot of people are starting to despise working a job they're, they're starting to look more online they're starting to understand that job security is is the thing of the past. They, they're starting to understand that technology is is really taking over a lot of jobs, right? And most of all, they're starting to understand that this virus, you know, that's going around. You know what I'm talking about? This virus is going around. This pandemic that's going around is doing a number on a lot of people's uh, financial situation, right? So it's kind of like backing a uh, it's kind of like backing a, a mouse into a corner, you know? Um, what what do you, what are you going to do? You know, you what is the little mouse going to do when it's back in the corner? It's going to find a way out, right? It's going to it's going to find some type of crevice, some type of hole to run into, right? It's going to do everything it can to stop from being killed, right? So, just my just my thought process is, a lot of people these days in 2021, and we're coming up on 2022 very rapidly. Uh, a lot of people are are in that in that in that uh, mouse mindset where they're back into a corner on what should I do next? Where should I go? What what? What's my next move, right? Well, you know, I'm 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 out there as an internet entrepreneur. Been out been out in the industry well over a decade, going on two decades, right? And my my job, my number one job, and this may shock a lot of you, my number one job is not to make money. That's right. My number one job is not to make money. My number one job that I focus on every single day, ladies and gentlemen, is to provide you a solution. That's it. 
to provide you a solution to your financial situation, to provide you a solution to get out of the rat race, right? That's my number one job. That's what I've been that's what I've been doing every single year, year after year, providing ample solutions. Year after year, right? It's not again, my number one job is not to make money. Now, when I when I provide when I do my job, right? When I provide solutions, the the end result ends up being monetary gain. If I'm providing the right information on a consistent basis, it's, 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 it's all a formula. Okay. So, you know, in, 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 uh, in school, I'm, I'm pretty sure all of us have, have taken some type of mathematics in school, right? You know, in all, there's always a mathematical equation and in, in, when it comes down to it, in cal, you know, I, I remember when I was in college, I took a, I took a, a, some hard math classes. I took calculus. I even made it up to calculus two, ladies and gentlemen. I, I don't know how I did that, but I made it up to calculus two. And the the formulas, the mathematical equations, just made my head spin. But guess what? There was always a solution to the problem. There was always a solution to the problem. What is what is that? What am I? Why am I saying this? If you want it bad enough, guess what? There's always a solution. There's always light at the end of the tunnel. There's there's never a there there's, there will be roadblocks. There will be obstacles. But when I when I go back and I look at the mathematical equations in college, they looked daunting. They looked very very difficult which they were but there was always a solution no matter how long it took to draw it out there was always a solution to the mathematical equation okay so my job my number one job as an entrepreneur is to provide you a solution a way out to give you ideas to give you information that can hopefully you take it you take it you run with it and make it yours. So I pose the question again. How bad do you want it? How bad do you want to succeed? How bad do you want to be an entrepreneur? How bad do you want it? Because a lot of people give lip service. A lot of people say, yeah, I want to do this, I want to do that, but they don't take action. And why they don't why don't they take action? Because they don't believe in themselves. Simple point point blank. They don't believe in themselves. That's what it comes down to. All right. So I have a solution. Just like I told you, I have a solution. In this particular solution, I, I've I've named it the passive income vault. The passive income vault, right? And uh, the passive income vault, ladies and gentlemen, covers. The three main phases of passive income that you need in your toolbox, okay? Uh, from my from my research, from my experience over the years, there's three phases of passive income that you always need working at one time, okay? And it's always about multiple streams of income in the end. The first phase is cash flow, all right? Without cash flow, ladies and gentlemen, you don't have a business. I don't care what they say. I don't care what people say. You you take any brick and mortar business. You go to uh, you know your local stores, your local WalMarts, your local you know IKEAs. Their their number one goal is to create a a steady cash flow and a positive cash flow base on a regular basis. Okay. You got to have got the way you got to have a way to, to generate a steady cash flow because your cash flow is going to allow you to do other things. One of the obstacles that people run into in their entrepreneurship career is a lack of capital. Okay, remember there is always a, a, a solution to your mathematical equation. 
So you you may be you may sit down and count the cost and say, hey, I want to be an entrepreneur, right? But you don't you don't you don't count the cost and say, okay, how much budget and how much capital do I need? Or maybe you don't have enough capital to get started with what you need to start with. But guess what? We we all have started or need to start somewhere. I started somewhere years ago. Okay? And I knew without a doubt that I was going to start and finish. I don't care how long it took. I was going to start and finish. Once you have that mindset that you're going to start and finish, guess what? You can do anything you set your mind to. Okay? How bad do you want it? How bad do you want it? It's simple simple statement but very powerful because now you got to sit back and think about it well am i really giving lip service or, or am i really going after this thing right you got to really ask yourself you know what i'm saying so the passive income vault is is has launched uh cash flow is number one the second phase after cash flow is compound once you have a steady cash flow base, now you want to take some of that money and start to compound or grow it exponentially. I have something for you for that too. Number three. Number three. The next phase after that is residual income. So those are the three phases of passive income, guys. And I've made it as automated as possible for you. I've made it as automated as possible for you. I'm going to be adding other things in the vault. Okay, so what you see in there is not going to be the final, the final um, uh, uh, opportunities. But I want to make it as automated as possible. Why do Why do I want to make it as automated as possible to eliminate every single excuse that you may have in the book? Oh, this is too hard. I can't do this. I can't do that. If you can't do at least two of the opportunities in the passive income vault that's because you don't you lack discipline and you lack belief in yourself and if you tell if you and, and, and if you step back and say i don't have the money and you just leave it at that that means you you you, you quit too soon and you give up on yourself you give up you give up on your family because if you want it bad enough guess what you will find a way to make it happen that's what I did years ago. I found a mate. I didn't have the money to to to, to even uh, buy a course that I wanted to buy years ago. But guess what? I found a way and I made it happen. And I never looked back since. So how is it going to be with you? What is it going to be with you? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? All right. That's what it's all about. You got to start. And guess what? You're going to have people. Before you start, I guarantee you, usually friends and family, you're going to have people that try to get in your way, that tell you you're crazy, you're stupid. You might as well just stay stay, stay doing what you've been doing. They're going to laugh at you. They're going to, they're, going to, they're, going to, they're going to joke with you. That's when you know you're on the right path because entrepreneurship is not normal, guys. We're crazy. Hey. Entrepreneurship is is when you look at it all, we 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 entrepreneurs are crazy in a good way. We are crazy, man. How in the world do we go out on a limb, right? Put our money up, don't know what's going to happen the next day, don't know if we're going to make a, a dime the next day, and how do we get up, muster up the strength? to market and promote ourselves on a, on a consistent basis not knowing what, where our next paycheck is going to come in not knowing if, if someone is going to give us the time of the day, we're crazy not knowing that not knowing that if I work this amount of hours, this is going to happen not knowing if it's going to happen simply living off of faith simply operating off of faith and belief we are crazy. And I, I accept the craziness. I'm, I'm crazy individual. I'm a crazy entrepreneur. Yep. I've been a crazy entrepreneur for over 10 years. And it's been working just fine. Okay. It's been working just fine. 
I'm crazy for doing live videos on Facebook, uh, uh, hoping, right, and having the full confidence that someone is going to believe what I'm saying and actually take action. That's crazy. That's not normal. That's not taught in school, ladies and gentlemen. That is not taught in school. So we got to reprogram our minds. That's what I did years ago, January 21st, 2009, to be exact. I, I literally, hey, I can show you the pictures to, to show proof. I literally buried the words I can. Literally. Tombstone and all. Tombstone and all. I buried that. That was crazy what I did. Who Who's doing that? Who's burying the words I can't on a tombstone? That's crazy. So I'll, I'll, hey, I accept the craziness. I'm a crazy entrepreneur. I'm crazy for, for, for providing solutions to the world. Absolutely. Yep. And I'm going to keep on going as long as I can. That's what I've been doing all this time. That's, that's the habitual state that I've been operating in, right? The consciousness that I've, I've lifted up to the faith and I'm gonna keep on going right you got to get you got to have that same you got to muster up the same strength in yourself to believe in yourself to do the same thing all right that's what it's all about so guys that's my time if you want to tap into the passive income vault just inbox me simply inbox me message below say hey I want to I want inside of the vault that way you can see what's on the, on the inside and you'll be on my list to get other opportunities that's going to bring you passive income because that's what it's all about in the end. We need passive income in 2021, 2022, 23. As long as this earth still stands, passive income is going to be the thing to get, to be into, to acquire, to make your life a little easier and hopefully to get you off the job if you so desire. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's my time. I, I said, hey, I didn't want to go too long, but hey, well, I get on a roll. I get excited and I want you guys to really hear the message. OK, that's what it's all about. So, guys, thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Talk to you all soon. Peace out.